Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to preserve this razor sign on your bars if you're going to paint them. Or if you just want to redo it. So, I haven't painted mine yet. Um, in the description I'll leave a link to how to paint your bars. But, this is all the things you'll need. This is just tissue paper. Um, you need this to see through. I don't know. No, you can't see through that. On the camera, no. But no, that's again. Um, this you can get if you buy new shoes. This comes inside of it. Comes in like a roll like this. Stuff inside the shoes. Or if you go to a skate shop or, uh, I don't know if the skate shop will have it. But if you go to a shoe store, they'll give you some of this. Um, a pen. Preferably that will bleed. Doesn't matter what kind, this kind is a Uniball Vision Elite. Elite. Um, if you don't think it'll bleed, it's alright, you just go over it multiple times. A piece of scotch tape. Well, any tape will work. You don't want, you don't want this clear tape. You do not want that. You want something that has color. Maybe duct tape. But preferably scotch painter tape. A pencil. Any pencil. You want it to be pretty sharp. And your bars. Razor bars. Um. First. Oh. And you'll need this. Okay, so. First, you're just going to want to take this tissue paper. Little sheet. And. It has some rips in it, but you won't need that much, so just get enough to where you can cover the razor, the words razor. I don't know if you guys can see through that. Yeah, you can. You see the razor through it. Um, just enough to cover it. Then, get your clear tape. And... Take a big enough t piece that will wrap around the bars. Put it onto the end of this. Then around on that end. Then for this side, you go on. Make sure it's straight and pull it a little bit tight so it'll be clear. put that on. So now, actually, I'm going to put a little piece across the back too. You don't have to do this, but just it'll stay a little bit straight. Okay, so now, I'm only going to do the first letter with you. Maybe not even, well yeah, it will. Um, you're just going to trace over this and you don't want to push down too hard because then it'll break because this stuff's really soft my battery's dying and it's already been two minutes in the video actually it's more like two minutes and thirty seconds so I can't do this whole thing with you take way too long and my battery will die let's trace over with the pencil for all the letters and you want to go you want to get a nice it doesn't have to be a, a strong line it can be thin doesn't matter but just go through the whole razor part and then once I do that I'll come back to you okay um, I was looking for a knife to cut this but I found a razor I think I already put that in materials I'm not sure but now you just want to cut. If you have enough room, cut on the tissue paper. If not, I just cut a little slice in the tissue like that. Just cut, cut down 
until the tape ends like that then you're just going to want to go through and just peel all this tape off Hold on, I'm still getting in the camera area. Actually, I'll just go across the razor. Maybe I won't. This is really sucky. It was a lot easier the first time I did it. But now it's giving me a hard time. Okay, so now it's loose. You can cut across that tape. So that way it'll break down the middle. If you even put that. And zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now cut across the tape. And yes, this is going to scratch your bars, but if you're already painting them, if you're already going to paint them, you already plan on that, then it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now, finally starting to come off. I'm be careful with this, because it will rip. And it did rip one time while I was drawing with a pencil. Oh, crap, I forgot to do that. Sorry. Peel that off. Okay, so now what you've got so lightly gotta get this in the shadow here. Lightly written razor on the tissue paper. And again, it's just lightly written. You just did it with a pencil. So now you're gonna want to get all this tape out of here. Remove these materials out of the way. Careful with the razor blade because that is sharp. Now you want something hard. Want something hard that you can write on? Um, there's an algebra book, anything like a thick book, maybe. Get your scotch tape and make sure scotch tape that it's big enough to cover up the razor logo. So you can see that. Big enough. Just take that down right there. Now, on that. Okay, now you're going to get your tissue paper, the razor, words on it, I don't know if you can see that, and put it so that the razor words are covering scotch tape. Now you're going to get some more of this clear tape, and just Tape it down, and again, make sure the words are, the letters are on top of the scotch tape. Don't want to cover the letter again. Pull it, pull a little bit tight so that, not so that it'll break, but so that it'll be tight enough. <clears throat> I'm gonna get you guys a better view. Okay, there's a little bit <clears throat> better. I got a better lamp. I had to put that tissue paper there so that it would give a little bit of shade. Now you get your pen. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see those words. <clears throat> you can see it a little bit. Get your pen and trace over. I'm just going fast so the video won't be too long. But if you take your time, it'll be better. You want to go over everything two times. You don't have to, but it'll be a better, it'll show more 
on the scotch tape painters tape blue tape whatever you want to call it okay there's that I'll let you guys do the rest along okay so now I'm finished with the whole words whatever I messed up on the R because again that tape got in the way because I didn't make enough space so you know I'm like extra space um so the R looks doesn't look how it's supposed to that's all right now I'm gonna take your end er, your tape off and that's what I meant by it'll be on a blue tape so you can keep this razor on the you can keep this part if you want to if you think you're going to use it again or you think it's cool or whatever you can keep that you don't have to now we got this blue tape with it and you're kind of going to play connect the dots here but you can it's pretty visible if you went over it twice you can go over it more the more times you go over it the more visible visible it'll be I went through twice so if you don't think that's visible enough for you you can do it three times um, you only have to do one time with this um, I'm just gonna do that and I'll come back once I'm done okay so now we're back to where on the R I did all of it except for the little end part on the R get you close up on that I don't know if you can see that whatever um, I'm just gonna fix it now because now I have space so I just put the bars right here so you can kind of see. Oh, that really sucked, but whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can make it perfect if you really want to, but you don't have to. Um, now, take your bars away. Now what you're going to need is this. Your, I don't know if you got exacto knife or just a razor blade or maybe a really sharp knife whatever but you want to get a hard surface which I'll be back within a minute and you're going to cut these letters out and the razor blade will cut through I'll show you what I mean I did it on my desk and you can see or can't you see the little cut marks this is mine finished I did one earlier. But yeah, there's a bunch of cut marks. You can't really see it right now. Sorry, it's dark. Um, let me get you back on the tripod here. Okay. Um, yeah, just find something hard that you don't mind getting cut because the razor blade will cut through the tape and whatever's underneath it. Of course, I can't cut my out of a book. It's really old. Oh crap, I just ripped this. But I'll be back in a minute. It's what I got. It's a hard thing. It's just two paper plates. Put two together so it'll be a little bit more stronger. Now you can just peel this off. This is a book. Two paper plates. And put that right on there okay so now from here there's two things you can do um if you've already painted your bars what you're going to do is you're going to cut this out cut the letters out get rid of those keep the inside circles though and then that'll look like when that is finished that'll look like that and then you can put that on your bars and spray paint over that. Maybe put some more tape around so it doesn't ruin the bars. Whatever the color they are. Um, if you, that's if you've already painted your bars. Now, if you haven't, and you just, if you haven't painted your bars and you just want to protect the letters, I'm not gonna protect mine because it's all scratched up. But if yours is fine, and you want to protect it. You're gonna cut out these letters, keep the letters, cut out the circles and lose those. You're gonna lose the outside, lose the circles from the inside put these letters right on top of these letters and then when you spray paint it you can peel that off and it'll still be this underneath 
um, or if you want to change the color again keep the outside lose the inside <coughs> whatever you want um, I think that's it if there's any more I'll show you